Alright, it looks like they're going right into it again. We're doing three out of five. We've gone to match point every game so far. So this is the first round of winners. And we have Red Reaper using Inferno Scorpion. And Paint using Grandmaster Sub-Zero. So again, like I said, we have a lot of Sub-Zeros here in SoCal. More than we can shake an ice-covered stick at. And... I don't know. We'll have to get used to it, I guess. Might have to counterpick. Might have to learn who the best anti-Sub-Zero character is. But uh, at least Sub-Zero, like I said, you can play Sub-Zero a lot of different ways. You can play him defensive, you can play him offensive. Wow, he blocked the forward four two takedown. Red Reaper immediately loses his game. That, wow, he blocked two takedowns. Red Reaper is, uh, he doesn't know what to do now. He says, I can't gimmick him out. What do I do? I'm just kidding. Red Reaper's actually winning. And in, as I say that, he takes the round. First round. <laughs> so, uh, in case you guys haven't been uh, paying much attention, Scorpion, uh, Inferno Scorpion is the zoning variation of Scorpion, and Grandmaster Sub Zero is essentially Ice Clone Sub Zero. Not even essentially, it's literally. So, this is not easy for Sub Zero, because Scorpion does, of course, have his classic teleport, so Ice Clone will not work quite as well. And he has some strong zoning in this variation, which is not something that we've seen Scorpion have before. So Sub-Zero can't just sit behind his Ice Clone, he needs to basically rush down Scorpion. But right now we're seeing Scorpion with the ability to rush down too, and Red Reaper takes the first game. Scorpion wins. <laughs> So I don't believe we'll see a character change. Going back into it with Inferno versus Grandmaster. Good footsies by Red, going into a fake teleport. Of course, fake teleport is something we're all going to have to learn to deal with better. Another fake teleport, going to the back three, two, forward two string. Low to overhead string. Not only is it good for being a low starter that goes into an overhead, but it chases back dashes. It covers a lot of different wake up timings too. So it's basically just a real solid option on somebody's wake up. Same just with that string too. Well, what is it? Sub forward 333 or whatever it is. It uh, covers a lot of space, covers a lot of wake up timings. Uh, it was a nice punish, but it doesn't get a conversion off of it. Punishing Red Reaper's teleport. Red Reaper taking the first round of the second game. Alright, good choice right there. Gets the full conversion off of the low demon. Oh, good block, good punish. Oh, Payne should have put Red Reaper in the corner by jumping over him after that freeze. Alright, puts him in the corner now. Now he's back in the corner. Got a big uh, leapfrog game going on. Alright, will he punish? Yes, gets the punish on the teleport. Back to mid screen again. Almost gets the conversion off of the back, too. Not quite. Now, this zoning's gonna be hard to deal with, uh, but Red gets a jump. Three. And goes up 2 0. Close game so far though. Kay needs to make a an adjustment right here. Ah, uh, I'm drinking spider energy. Drink what you fear. Give me a sponsorship. Ooh, tries to get the conversion off of the back two, but accidentally gets the shortcut for interactable, which is one plus two in this game. Nice EX slide into the 
Ice Clone gets that down too. To get rid of it. Uh, Red Reaper zoning hasn't been too effective this game. I mean, he's hit a few kind of like YOLO low demons, but not too much past that. All right, Sub Zero, very convincingly taking this round. Perhaps Pain has made an adjustment. Uh, doesn't get the punish off of this. Yep. Ice Clone not too effective against Scorpion here. <laughs> Interesting fact, if Sub-Zero, like, pops out an Ice Clone, then walks in front of it, and Scorpion uses the demon that comes from behind, it'll actually run into the Ice Clone. And, uh, they both get destroyed. Knocked down in the corner. Alright, uh, one of the same problems that Nubs was having, I feel like when Sub has the opponent in the corner, there should always be an Ice Clone down there. But, of course, Scorpion does have the ability to teleport out and punish that Ice Clone, so... Blame him. Red doing his signature combo, down four into takedown. Ooh, one one four teleport on block, it connects. Those are those gimmicks. Delayed wake up stopping the throw, but Pain gets another throw on Red Reaper. Oh wow, that EX takedown to 15%. Oh, can we get one more hit for either person? And Red Reaper gets it with the jumping three. Now, even on block, I think that jump three into a teleport would have chipped out Kane. So now we are in match point for Red Reaper. Alright, EX slide, putting Red Reaper in the corner. That's always where Sub wants you to be. Putting you to jail. Like uh, Cassie says to Johnny, I'll put you in the corner first. Nice block on the overhead demon. Ooh, wow, gets the trade on the back too, but still converts. Red with the uh, breaker. Nice blocks by Pain. Oh, can he get the combo? Oh, is he gonna get the 40 off of this? Nope, gets the break. A very late break, but. He needed to break there or he would have died and he died anyway. So Pain puts himself on the board. 2-1 Red Reaper. Sub -Zero wins. <laughs> but very convincing wins by Pain this uh, this last game. Let's see if he's made an adjustment that will upset the pace of the match so far. How is everybody out there in Streamland? Hope you're doing good. Right now you're watching Red Reaper's Inferno Scorpion versus Pain's Grandmaster Sub at Goro Night Fights 1.0. Let's see these scores on the very nice overlay made by Dev. What's up everybody in the chat? Cage, Gambit, Yokes. Alright, early lead by Pain. But it could oh nope. Drop combo by Red Reaper. That could have been a like that's about, about 30% that he lost right there. Alright, gets another chance. The X teleport, will he get the whole thing? Looks like it. And one more hit. Goes for the throw. Red with a huge comeback. But I mean that's what Inferno Scorpion does. 40% ish meterless combos. That's uh, more than pretty much anybody else. You think of Kotal as like a large average character. He gets like 35 meterless. Scorpion's like, yeah, I'll get, I'll get 38. The jab. So this is match point for Red Reaper. Pain his life lead. Wow. Wow. Scorpion's forward two, jumping over Sub Zero's EX slide. That's interesting. I wonder if that uh, could be used as kind of like a little like option select to keep you safe. Ooh, wow, throws him after the 114. That was really weird, really far. Alright, good luck on that jump kick. Hasn't been a lot of anti airs yet. Alright, this could be big. One more mix up, and this could be the entire game. 
He's gonna go for all. Oh, goes for the back three, two, forward two, and Red Reaper takes it. So those are our first that uh, that ends our winners matches for the first round. Of course, losers are still in the losers bracket. 